All right, um, this is really as tricky as relative motion gets. Um, it's kind of similar to the airplane question that we did before. Um, this one that's a boat crossing a river. Uh, I'm gonna talk you through it, uh, read through the question, see, see if the numbers jump out at you, see if you can start visualizing what it looks like, start mentally building the triangle. <clears throat> but really this one is sort of uh, the culmination. Um, I'm going to jump in and start tackling. I'm assuming you've had a chance to read it. Um, we got a river that's 20 meters wide, and there's a current moving 3 meters per second west relative to the ground. Uh, in physics, we're going to keep things very simple and boring. Um, if it says that there's a river that's 20 meters wide with a current flowing west, what that means is the two banks both run east-west. So our rivers are going to be very rectangular, uh, no bends in the river. Um, the 20 meters would be like this distance across here. It says that there's a current pushing the water three meters per second west. So that means the water's moving this way at a rate of three. And then it says uh, a boat is on the river and moving five meters per second relative to the water. So before when I was told about the current I was given the number and the direction. Now when I'm told about the water, I'm just given the number, but I don't know the exact direction. It didn't tell me that. Keep on reading, and it says that the boat is driving such that it is moving straight north relative to the ground. So that means someone standing over here on the ground watching all this happen, they see the boat moving straight north. That's sort of like the camera view from above when I was doing all those early uh, relative motion videos with the whiteboard and the toy car. So really what that means, if the boat's gonna look like it's going straight north relative to the ground, that means really the boat has to angle its velocity into the current. So after the fact, I'm gonna add my five. I know that the five has gotta go this way. I don't know where exactly, but I know that the five has to create it so that this resulting side is pointing straight north. So if we think about the subscript E equation, um, the velocity of the boat relative to the ground is the velocity of the boat relative to the water plus the velocity of the water relative to the ground. If you're okay with the subscript E notation, what's different about this particular question is I know that this has to be north, but I don't know how fast. So I'm missing sort of the, the number to go with that. I know everything about the, sorry, the boat moving over the water. I know that it's going at five, but I don't know the direction. And I know everything about the current. I know that it's three to the west. So what makes this type of question a little bit weirder is my unknowns are split up. I don't know the number that goes with what the person on the ground is seeing, but the person on the ground knows they're going north. And I don't know the direction of the five, but as far as the boat's concerned, they're moving through the water at five, just the water happens to be moving over the ground. Once we sort of break it down and figure it out, that's what our, the colorful triangle there, that's what the triangle turns into. Notice that the displacement, the 20 meters, doesn't show up on that triangle. Um, it stays off to the side, it's not a velocity, it's a displacement, so it doesn't interact directly with the triangle. Now once we've got the triangle, hopefully your math can take over and we can solve it. <clears throat> it is a right angle triangle, so Pythagorean theorem, uh, we know that 5 squared is a hypotenuse, must be 3 squared plus, I don't know, squared. I called it letter V. Um, you can do Pythagorean theorem on that. <clears throat> Or if you're on your toes, that is a three, four, five triangle. So I know that the number part of the velocity has to be four. So that means that the velocity of the boat, well, the velocity of this four is what the person on the ground sees. Sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. So we've now got the answer to the second question. Oop, no, we don't, we got part of this. We know that it's going four relative to the ground, but I don't know the direction yet. So let's keep doing some work. Uh, that's the trig part. If I look at that colorful triangle, I'm curious about angle X. I know the opposite is three and the hypotenuse is five. So that's a sine relationship. Sokotoa, it's gonna be three over five. 
x is going to be the inverse sine of the 3 over 5. That works out to be 0 0.6. Inverse sine of that, I get that the angle is 37 degrees, give or take. I rounded off a little bit. <clears throat> so now I'm going to try not to, I'm going to try and word this properly. The first question was, what is the velocity of the boat relative to the ground? So someone standing on the ground, they're going to see the four meters per second. So relative to the ground, the person would, the per people on the ground would see four meters per second and that's pointing straight north. As far as the boat's conserved, so what direction is the boat moving relative to the water? The boat, whoever's driving this boat, they've got an angle on that 37 degree angle. The 37 degrees was measured away from straight north. So from straight north, we moved 37 degrees against the current or towards the east. The question didn't ask for it, but if we cared, so another part we could do, uh, the river is 20 meters wide. The boat is going four meters per second as seen from the ground. So from those two things, it's got, a, it's got 20 meters to travel and it's traveling at a rate of four meters every second. You can use your V equals D over T idea or a little bit of logic. Um, so we got 4 equals 20 divided by I don't know. The I don't know would have to be 5. So I didn't ask it when I typed this question up, but if we wanted to go a step further, we could figure out that it takes the, uh, the boat 5 seconds to get across. So just to recap, I knew the water was pushing it to the west at 3. I knew the boat was moving through the water at 5, but I didn't know what exact direction, but I knew it had to angle to the east to sort of cancel out that current so that from the ground the boat looked like it was going straight north. I knew that that final velocity, the one I drew in green, had to be pointed straight north. I just didn't know how long it was. That's what make this such kind of a, a little bit of a trickier question, figuring out how these vectors all connect together. Uh, take your time, go through it again. There's more examples posted. Um, there's links to other examples posted. You could take a look at another one or two if you needed to.